everybody loves hummus, but I'll make it tastier. With the help of two secret ingredients, we will make the most delicious hummus you've ever, ever tried. This is Rajiv, your delicious chef. And together, we will make hummus. First off, let's pop a can of 400 grams of canned chickpeas and drain it. Keep the liquid aside. Now let it drain. Next, we'll make a pre-blend of one garlic and half a cup of lemon juice. So that equals the juice of about one and a half lemons, medium sized. Add the juice to the garlic and blend. Take care that the garlic and the lemon juice is nicely blended. Next, add the drained chickpeas to the blender and keep a few aside for garnish. That's enough. Take your blender again and blend the chickpeas into a smooth paste. Blend for 30 seconds. Stop, add half a teaspoon of ground cumin and blend again. Scrape the sides well so you get all of those chickpeas into those blades. Add half a teaspoon of kosher salt And blend again. Scrape the sides again. Now to the fragrant part. Add three heaped tablespoons of tahini paste. I'm using organic store-bought tahini for this. Now we'll give this a nice little mix with the blender again. Stop. Scrape and blend. And now to my little secret on how to make this the best hummus you've ever had. Add two heart-shaped ice cubes to the paste and blend. Isn't this already looking like one of the most flavorful and creamiest hummuses you've ever seen? If you think this is a too thick still, go ahead and add a little bit of the chickpea liquid we just drained off earlier from the can. I'm going to do just that. I just need a little bit, about a tablespoon of the liquid. Look at this now. I promise this is going to be the tastiest hummus you've ever had. Now let's prepare to serve the dish. We will pour this into our serving bowl. Look at the creaminess of this hummus. This is just the way I'm going to serve it for myself. Don't forget to check for salt and adjust with salt if it requires more salt. I will drizzle a slight amount of extra virgin olive oil over my hummus. We'll cut just a little bit of parsley. Just a little bit for garnish. And then we'll touch it up with a slight bit of sumac. Now look at this piece of beauty we've just made. The olive oil glistening on top of the creamy hummus base, the green from the parsley and the light red from the sumac. This is going to be a treat for your taste buds. Now I can't wait to try the best hummus I'm sure I've ever made. I've got some amazing Turkish bread over here. I'm gonna cut myself a slice of that. I'll pop this in the toaster for just half a minute. I have slightly roasted my bread. 
Now let me tell you, the look and the smell of this is already convincing me of the fact that this is going to be the best hummus I've made to date. But now, let's try it and see if that what I promised you at the beginning of this video holds. I'm going to take a nice bit of this, put it on my bread. Mmm! Oh, I tell you, you won't believe it. This is mm, delicious. Mm. This is delicious, guys. Go ahead, try it. You have to. You have to try this. Delicious. I wanted to garnish this with a couple of chickpeas at the end. I forgot. You don't. Go ahead and give it a try. Now, while you enjoy this zoom in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a like for this video.